Hi everybody, welcome back to part four of building your own raffle website. So in this video, we're gonna go through a few small changes that you need to make to the website to change it over to your company name uh, and a few other bits and bobs in settings wise. It's mostly just changing names, uh, but it's something we're gonna have to do. So if we're gonna go ahead uh, and log in, so just go, this is a pretty easy way for me to do it is just to go to the admin area in Easy WP. All right, so we go on the left hand side, we just want to toggle this menu so we can see all of the settings. Uh, go down to settings on the left hand side and then general. All right, at the top you'll see the site title and site or on tagline. So you obviously want to change those to whatever your company name is. Um, whatever your uh, tagline is so that could be simple as like say you were Nike it, this would be just do it kind of thing or this would be just something about um, you know what your what your company represents so for all this can appear up in the likes of search engines and stuff like that so it's just something you have to think about Next is changing your admin email address. Okay, this could be the email address you set in part two of the of this um, how to guide. So say I go win at lux. Okay. And all the other settings I have set up for you, so you don't have to worry about those. So when it comes to changing the admin address, there is a pending change of this admin address. You have to go to that uh, email address and uh, accept, basically. So you can't just, it doesn't just take it. You need to go to the email address and accept it. Okay, so that's all done there. The next uh, settings we need to go to are the WooCommerce settings. So here, I'm gonna go into WooCommerce. So we're gonna go through the general settings in this uh, video. The next video, I'm gonna do a uh, a whole video on payment gateways, but I'll, I'll touch on them on this one just uh, so you can see them. But uh, I'm in talks with uh, a, f oh, a payment provider that uh, provides, you know, services to competition websites. So for you guys, uh, it'd be really quick to get set up uh, with them. If you so wish, you can obviously do whatever you want. This is your, this is your website. So in general, so we're in WooCommerce settings and then general at the top left here. So you want to change all these settings or, the, or all these uh, fields to your company. So your address, line one, your city, you know, what, what country you're in, your uh, postcode or zip code, depending where you are. Uh, and then under general options, you can select what countries you want to send to or you want to sell tickets to. So sell to all country except for, and then you can pick a few uh, countries that you don't want to sell to or you can sell to Pacific countries so we're going to select that and go United Kingdom and you can obviously do that or even not do this at all you can just reselect sell to all countries uh, that'll just maybe you have a something in mind that you only want to sell to the UK for reasons such as like you know it's quite a big prize or you can't be sending it across the world uh, so disable shipping uh, and shipping calculations. So that's mostly down to, because you usually don't charge for shipping on a ticket because obviously they don't know if they're going to win or not. Uh, so usually you have to absorb that into the cost of the, all the tickets. Okay, all these are fine. Yes, so I'll do another video on coupon codes. So save those changes at the bottom. So just before I actually go back there, you'll see here currency. Currency is obviously a big one for everyone. So wherever you are, just hit the drop down, search in here what um, what your currency is and set it there and that, that'll change it for the whole website. Uh, so the front end or the what the client sees or the customer sees is going to be dollars or euros or that kind of thing. So see those changes once you've changed your currency. So at the top in the products tab, 
all this has been set up for you. You don't really need to change anything here. So payments. So again, I was going to touch on this another time. Well, in the, in the next video in a, in a more in-depth manner. Uh, but you can sort of see what's available. You can click on the right hand side here to set up. You will probably have this cash on delivery enabled. So you would obviously disable that. Just so make sure that's disabled and you enable a payment gateway and set up. So once you do click into set up uh, on the, any of these payment gateways, they'll give you more options and what you need to do to link it to whatever. Uh, but I will go through in the next video um, once I get a reply from this um, payment provider uh, so I can give you a more in-depth discussion about that. So accounts and privacy. So I have all these set up for you. So you don't need to change anything here. Emails. So these are the emails that go out to your, your um, customers. So say there's a new order. So one goes to you. So this will be your, once you have, um, sorry, once you have updated your uh, admin email address on, that was the first thing we done in this video. This will change to your email. So you, you must uh, accept that pending change but you'll also see customers so whatever the customer's email address is that'll change obviously if it's their order it'll go to them that kind of thing so on if you scroll on down all you need to change is here so lux prizes so that means when the email is sent out the from name is your company name and then when at lux So your from email address is going to be obviously the email address that you set up in part two. So you can add a, a, a header image here, sorry, and that would be a general uh, link. So if I go to the website and say we want to copy this, um, copy image, I don't know why I couldn't find that, and paste it in here. You can then preview your, uh, sorry, I have to save that. So make sure you save it and then click the link. So you can see that that's massive. That's far too big. So that'll be almost like if it came to you in your email address or, or in your email account, it would take up most of the page. So I'm going to, I don't really overly think you need a header image, to be honest. Just keep it simple. No one really cares about e how emails look. As long as they're readable and so footer text site title so this will be obviously your site title that comes up here so it comes up lux raffle for me obviously yours will be different uh base colors so they're just sort of standard black and white colors and i think that should be all right all good there integration i don't think there's anything in here nope nope so all these are just general page setups and they're all set up for you. So force secure setup or checkout. So I would actually click that, uh, but there's another thing we'll need to do straight after this in easy WP. So if we go, you can click that force secure checkout. See if changes, all right. So now that uh, WooCommerce is set up to your company, you need to go back to Easy WP. And when in your, uh, so this is my Lux Prizes, yours will say something different here. So you want to head on down to SSL certificate here. So at the minute it should say no SSL certificate. We want to manage that. Uh, and we want to add a certificate. And then the one in the middle is free positive SSL. So you'll see, if I go back to the website quickly, it says not secure at the top here. Hopefully you can, if I make my mouse big, you can kind of see it says not secure. So that's because we're only using HTTP where we would like to use HTTPS, which is the secure protocol. And you need that for taking payments online. Most payment providers only accept uh, payments from a secure website. So we can do that easily here. So we, all we need to do is change SSL certificate to free positive SSL. Click go or whatever that said, didn't see it. I 
excellent. So this may take a small while. Oh, I think it's actually already done for me. Uh, it, I think one of the first times I did this, it did say it'll take a while to come through. So just wait and make sure that's active. Uh, do you need to match? So that'll be all right. So that is us all good there. So if we go, hopefully go back to the website. Right, okay, now we're back on the admin area of the, the website. All we need, well actually, before we go any, any further, I want to do one more thing, which is create, you want to create your own account. So we go to users. So if we go to delete me, actually, we just want to delete that right now. So uh, just delete all content, that's fine. And then up here, we just want to go to add new. So here you would add in your, this is your username, your email, your password, uh, all through here. Uh, and then to set your password, you can either leave it like this. So this is a super secure password and there's no chance anybody would ever get it. Uh, but say you can't remember those, that or you don't want to save it somewhere. You can obviously just type in your password there with your username, password or your username and email. Uh, but before you add your new user, you want to click administrator. So that gives you all the uh, gives you all the uh, permissions to do things on the website. Okay, so now you've done that, but make sure you do delete that uh, that um, delete me user. So there's another one in there you could probably delete. It's fine. Or maybe that's to do with easy WP. We'll just leave that one there, maybe. Nah, delete it. Delete all content, that's fine. Okay. Probably delete that test one as well. Okay, so you should only really have two things in here, which is uh, my uh, login and your login. Uh, my login, it can probably be used if you have any troubles and stuff with the, the website, I'm sure if you got in touch, I could quickly jump in and uh, help you out a wee bit. Um, obviously, go through all the videos and stuff first to make sure I haven't covered it already, but um, I'm sure it won't take too long if it's something small. Um, okay, so you should have me and then your username in here. So you'll probably be logged in as me at the minute. For some reason, uh, EasyWP logs you in as me. So if you want to go log out, and then try and log back in with your username and password that you just set. Now before, I did get a small error before saying your, your domain or your Google Chrome doesn't accept cookies or something. Uh, if you do open it up in, in another browser incognito mode, that goes away. I think uh, there's some kind of thing might happen if you log in using this button, but I'm not exactly 100% on that. Uh, right, okay. So now that's done, we can now go to the front end of the website and see our SSL certificate. So there we go. So you probably haven't spotted it just yet, but you'll now have a small padlock at the top left hand corner of the uh, URL bar. So connection is secure. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this video and um, next i'll obviously go through the payment gateways if you don't if the that company doesn't get back to me as uh, very soon at least on monday uh, i'll go through the how to set up a competition uh, and how to set a basically how to run the competitions on the website it's probably a very important uh video to come so uh i will we'll see you then bye night